A little 18 foot Sakura Classic Cruiser here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Probably not a brand you ever heard of. They were actually built only like 20 minutes from our front doorstep and we carried some of their stuff for a while. Uh, they were a pretty cool little young company coming up and then unfortunately their money backer uh, just decided to close all the accounts and move where no one could find him. It's an unfortunate thing I've heard two or three different times in the RV business. Um, very neat little camper, lightweight, it's a narrow body, and a, a lightweight narrow body like this on a tandem axle, it's got almost no tongue weight. It's going to just tow real easy, and because it's not any wider than your vehicle, you're going to be able to see around it. You're not going to get the, as much of those brutal headwinds. Um, it, it's a good little rig. Now, uh, at some point, the, the previous owner of this, it, it's kind of unfortunate. There has been a pretty significant leak in this. I'm going to show you that inside, and it's it's... It's just unfortunate because the previous owner actually took really good care of it. Like to the tune of uh, somebody had scraped his outside shower door. So he bought an entire new uh, door enclosure. That's a brand new component on there. You see the mud dauber screens on your, your heat inlets and whatnot. Um, there's a max air cover on your power ceiling vent fan. They, he was willing to put some money into the camper to keep it in top shape. Unfortunately, Mother Nature really had it out for this thing and you'll see what i mean when we get inside i just wanted to see everything out here real quick a little uh, accessory receiver hitch on the rear bumper there it's only gonna be good for like bike racks and stuff but that's all you really need it for now uh upgraded to a significantly different type of trailer no longer needed their hitching so this is going to come with hitch and sway control not a bad deal that's a couple hundred extra bucks worth of parts there you're not going to have to invest now uh, you can see the discoloration on the floor. I, sh you know, I shoot people straight. I don't cover things up. I don't hide things. And here's where it all came from. In one of these beautiful Michigan storms that we have, a stick actually punctured through the roof. That water then ran down the cabinet into the sink. And you think, oh well, at least it caught it in the sink. The problem was it happened. Uh, it, it leaked for so long it filled the holding tanks and then it backed the sink up and that poured water down onto the floor. Now it was a little rough up here. They built a new platform on top of it, so it's perfectly fine. You will see spots where the water walked down the cabinetry back here. Uh, the, apparently the camper was parked with the, the tail down a little bit, so water walked downhill. And here's where it had a chance to pull up. It's a little soft here. I can still stand on it. It's not bad. I'm not going to do jumping jacks, but it's there. And I'm not going to lie to you about it either. So, you know, there, there's the hard truth of the trailer. It's, I mean, all in all, it's just not in bad shape. Um, this right here, this sofa slides out. The, it's a very classic style gaucho where the base slides out and the cushions fold down. So this can be a bed. The dinette can fold down into a bed. We've got a um, fold up out of the way bunk up here. If you notice this little bracket, the bunk can actually uh, hug against the ceiling section right here to leave this nice and open if you want it. And again, we do have a bigger power ceiling vent fan up here to get some good air flowing. Between the, uh, I should have opened these side windows for you know light and whatnot, but between the side windows and that big front window, and then the big window here by the uh, sofa, there's actually quite a bit of light in here. It's not going to feel really small. Um, the uh, right here above the refrigerator, we've got extra little storage space. And I like little stuff like the previous owner. Again, they took good care of the camper. This is not a fancy fix, but it keeps your RV fridge from molding when it's not in use. Again, the person that owned it took good care of it. Mother Nature just really had it out for him. Uh, we have a, uh, a great closet and pantry space right here as you walk in the back door. And little trailers are not known for good storage. So anytime you can get big storage like this, man, take it and run with it for sure. Um, bathroom's pretty small, but in a little camper like this, I just couldn't imagine, you know, being able to uh, get much more out of it. Now, it's, it's unfortunate that this has had a leak, but it's actually a testament to how this is built, that it's still here and standing. And it's uh, part one of the reasons that we like Securas when we carried them new is uh, they don't use wood in the walls. Um, the, uh, it uses a material called uh, Asdel, which is something that a lot of people are familiar with now, but these were one of the first guys to jump on that wagon. You know, aluminum framed uh, walls and whatnot. So the structure of the RV is still sound. The floor, unfortunately, got a little water penetration to it, but uh, you know, the, the shell around you is still in good shape. And if it wasn't, if it was commonly constructed, you probably have some real bad uh, sidewall damage and whatnot from the water that managed to penetrate into the RV from a stick 
busting through the roof line. That thing must have cracked it hard. So there you have it. Give us a call. Learn more. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone.